In this demonstration, we're going to look at using group policies to restrict which drivers we can install in Windows 10. In order to do that, I'm going to do that through a group policy. Just in my machine here, I'm just going to start typing in GP Edit. And then we're going to go for .msc. We're then going to use this, and I'm going to run it as administrator. This will then take me into the group policy editor. And what I then need to do is just go to the settings that allow me to control exactly how the drivers can be added or not added. So now I have the group policy editor open. Next thing to do is just expand up the group policy. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for computer configuration. Then we're looking for admin templates. Then we're going for system. And then in system, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull in some of the settings from system. So we'll move this across just so we can see the headers. Then we're just going to come in and device installation. Expand up device installation. And then we'll just go for device installation restrictions. So what we have at this point here is we have some settings that will allow us to control exactly how device drivers are installed. So we'll just pull this across. So as we can see up the top here, we can allow administrators to override device installation restriction policies if we have any in place. We can allow the installation of devices by using drivers that match the device setup classes. We can prevent installation of devices using drivers that match certain setup classes. We can give people a message when installation is prevented by a policy. We can also give them a title as well. We can allow installation of devices that match certain device IDs. Prevent installation of devices that match any other device IDs. Time and second when we need to do a reboot. We can prevent installation and removal of devices, which I'm going to do at this point here, because I don't want people to use USB devices on my, my system, so we'll enable that. Once we've enabled it, we just select OK. And then we can prevent installation of devices not described by any other policy. So group policies will allow us to control exactly what users can install and what users cannot install. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of just looking where the group policy settings are to control device installation. Thank you.